Hi, I'm Lou Ann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I am here with Doug Murth, the Group Vice President for Corporate Strategy and Planning for Toyota North America. That's quite a mouthful. It is a mouthful. Sorry about that. <laughs> but I didn't make it up. <laughs> it actually has a lot behind it. Absolutely. So we're at a um, power t powering technology symposium put on by Shell, also by Toyota. Um, and you were just talking about what Toyota is doing for alternative renewable fuels. Sure. What, one of the most interesting to me was the hydrogen. Now hydrogen, there are lots of ways to get hydrogen, but I have a friend that is a butcher and he lives up Northern California. And he says one of the things that keeps him from getting bigger is that the county is worried about all the methane that the, the cows create. You guys actually might have a, a solution for him. Absolutely, we do. We're not necessarily a fuels company, but um, as you said, we're proponents of fuel cell technology, which runs on hydrogen. Yes. So that prompts the logical question of how are we gonna create an infrastructure base that helps distribute hydrogen? And more importantly, how are we going to produce hydrogen in a, in a renewable or fuel efficient way? And so that's something we're exploring in connection with a project we're doing down at the Port of Long Beach. Uh, we've developed a semi-tractor truck or tractor trailer that runs off of hydrogen. And in connection with that, we've started a project with a company called Fuel Cell Energy. And they're in the business of doing exactly what your friend wants to do, which is capturing methane or capturing some form of ag waste and converting that cleanly into a source of energy. So in our case, they are capturing ag waste in Northern California, maybe not far from your friend's uh, butcher facility, and piping that into a, a pipeline that we draw from in Southern California. Mm -hmm. Our partners, Fuel Cell Energy, convert that into electricity, which is operating more than 100, creates enough power to operate more than 100% of our needs for our Port of Long Beach facility, and generates hydrogen that we're using to both fuel our Mirai fuel cell light duty vehicles. So it doesn't have to be ag waste, it can be wastewater, it can be landfill, any of these things are producing a pollutant, methane, that can be converted very cost effectively into fuel. We're just going to have one place where we dump all of our garbage and, it's going to, and there's going to be a pit underneath that brings all the methane right to you. Right. I'm just going to give Californians a plug here because I think that if you are taking the emissions right off of the port with these trucks and it could equal 440,000 ZEV vehicles on the road and that is right at the point where the wind is coming right off the ocean pushing everything into California. I think California Air Resources Board would be good to look at that. Yeah, and we hope there's eventually a, a rail solution and a, a sea freight solution um, that basically delivers similar benefits. All right, Doug, thank you very much. Very good, thanks for the time.